It was a cold and rainy affair at Sheridan College yesterday for the Oakville Blue Devils home opener. They took on Sigma FC and Kojiko was there to cover the game. Oakville went down early in the first half 2-0. Hatech Joshi scored in, the, scored in the second half to bring Oakville back within one, but they weren't able to find an equalizer before that final whistle. Pierce Lang has more. With a final score of 2-1, the Blue Devils have several positives to take away from the match. And despite going down early, they were able to claw their way back into the game. We gave away a very soft penalty kick in the first half with a complete lack of communication, uh, complete misread, and um, that put us one nothing down, unfortunately. And uh, we went to chase the game right away, left ourselves a little bit open, probably too soon, and went two down, so now you're in a big hole. Um, but the boys responded really well. The last 15 minutes of the first half, we created two or three excellent chances. And that gave us confidence for the second half, where I thought we completely dominated for most of the, the second half period. We just couldn't get that elusive tying goal to uh, get something out of the game. The free kick. Sigma FC can thank their keeper, Tristan Henry, for holding on to the lead for them as he came up with several big saves to prevent Oakville from getting back into the game. Sigma's goalkeeper is a former goalkeeper of mine, and as usually happens, they return and, uh, and come to get you. Um, he made some great saves, and so did Matt. Matt made a, a flying save and uh, got the crowd off his feet as well. So, but I think the difference in the day um, was the fact that um, Sigma's keeper made a couple of tremendous saves near the end that, uh, that kept them you know, with the three points. Looking ahead to this weekend, the Oakville Blue Devils will be heading down the 401 to Windsor where they will face off with TFC's Windsor affiliate aptly named Windsor TFC Stars. So we'll have two or three sessions during the week to work on what we didn't think we did well. Um, we think we organised our midfield way better in the second half and that's probably going to be the foundation of our tactics for, uh, for Sunday. We'll analyse their game tape, we'll review ourselves, and uh, hopefully come Sunday we'll be ready to take our first three points on our first road trip. Now if you want to catch a repeat of Oakville versus Sigma from this past Sunday, it will be re-airing on Kojiko at 2 p.m. on Wednesday. And then if you want to catch the match in Windsor, you can always head on down. It's going to be at 4 p.m. at the University of Windsor. Reporting for Halton Insider, I'm Pierce Lang.